Tenatato Katoa, good evening. A state of emergency has been declared in Nelson and dozens of homes have been evacuated as the region is hit by heavy rain. About 70 homeowners in Nelson's Maitai Valley have had to leave their homes this afternoon when the rapidly rising Maitai River breached its banks. The ranges northwest of Tasman had recorded up to 350 millimetres of rain by lunchtime. And the deluge is set to continue. Leighton Haeckel reports. The Maitai Valley east of Nelson underwater, forcing residents in at least 70 homes to evacuate. We're hoping that they will adhere to, to the declaration and the requirement for them to evacuate. This is the highest I've seen the, um, the Maitai in that 27 years. The relentless rainfall driving the Maitai River to burst its banks, turning Tasman streets into torrents. Take a man to the rescue. And sending Nelson into a state of emergency. There are cars underwater and if, if we get another 24 hours of this, it certainly will be scary. The whole region has been hit by intense weather. Up to 350 millimetres of rain has fallen in the ranges of northwest Tasman. Golden Bay bearing the brunt of that deluge, these families had a shocking wake-up call when water started lapping at their front doors. Honestly, we're just kind of hoping it didn't get this bad. So this morning was a bit frantic when we woke up. Then like by 8 o'clock the water was inside. Made even worse because they only moved in last week. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to move back into this place at all. Right? No. Their neighbours also packing up before the water made it in. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing you can do. We just, we're just lucky that we've got somewhere we can go. And they may be away a while because this is just the beginning. This is the Takaka River and it's not even high tide yet. As you can tell, it's moving very fast and rising rapidly. It's even burst its banks. But the thing is, it is just one of a number of rivers in the area that are already causing major problems. Police issuing a plea this evening for people to stay off the roads, many of which remain closed. Well, Leighton joins us now. Kia ora, Met Service has just updated the rain warning for Nelson. What can you tell us? That's right, it's been upgraded to a red alert, uh, a red warning level. That's Met Service's highest level, and that's because up to 400 uh, millimetres of rain is uh, expected to fall uh, over the Nelson area. That's on top of what has already fallen, uh, and that is a significant amount of rain. As for those that have been asked to evacuate uh, their uh, homes uh, tonight, uh, they have been told to spend the night with family and friends, and if not, there has been an evacuation centre set up at the Saxton Stadium in Nelson. As for where I am here in Takaka uh, uh, in Golden Bay, the roads, uh, as you can probably see behind me, continue to close all around, essentially stranding some parts of the Golden Bay community, uh, and that is why they are being told to hunker down tonight. Uh, and with high tide not expected until around midnight, it may be a long night ahead for emergency services as the rain continues to fall. That is a lot of rain coming. Let's hope everybody stays safe. Thanks so much, Leighton. On the West Coast, three residential areas of Westport are under voluntary evacuation tonight. Buller is bracing for heavy rain early tomorrow morning and authorities are urging the rest of the town to be packed and ready to go. Kayleigh Callahan is in Westport. Come on, up, up. On the move again. This is the awful fifth. It's been a shittery. The call to begin voluntary evacuation of 140 homes came late in the day. We would rather take the precautionary approach and ask people to self-evacuate today in daylight hours as opposed to knock on doors at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Others in low-lying areas didn't wait for the official word. They left earlier in the day. Glen Heafy's grandma's house was washed out in last year's July flood. This time they're blocking every leak they can find. You've got a little gap that helps the air. Uh, and the house breathe and we're just putting sandbags in there just to deter the water from getting into that gap and then flooding the house. More than 20,000 sandbags have been packed over the past two days. Army personnel from Burnham doing the heavy lifting on the front line. Laurie and Paul traded day jobs to be couriers for those in Westport's most vulnerable neighbourhoods. Just on the uh, tour of duty sort of thing, that's one of those things that has got to be done. You can't stop the weather. Ross Eddy has had his bags packed all day and is now within the evacuation area. 
our neighbours across the road and through this area to the north are, are less fortunate. They've been flooded three times. The emergency operations centre is in full swing with enough supplies to weather the storm. The eye of that storm is now believed to be weaker than first thought. They were talking uh, 350 to 550 mil. Uh, it sounds like that is coming down. And while a hardy few hit the surf, most of Buller has battened down the hatches. Every day above ground is good day. Waiting for what Mother Nature throws their way. Kayleigh's with us now. Kia ora, Kayleigh. When is the worst due to hit? Yeah, kia ora, Michael. That red warning is in place for the west coast up until uh, tomorrow night at least. So the concern is with any more heavy rain between now and then, adding to the rain that's already fallen, uh, the river levels, the tide and sea swells uh, as well. That's what could co cause surface flooding to those uh, low-lying areas overnight and into tomorrow uh, morning. And that's why we've seen evacuations this afternoon through those uh, at-risk areas, just getting those people out um, in time before we go into darkness so then we don't have to carry out, or emergency services don't have to carry out evacuations in the middle of the night. Response teams, though, are ready to go here from the operations centre if they are required. There is good news, though. The Buller River isn't expected to overtop and reach the levels like we saw earlier in the year. But there's still plenty of more rain to come overnight and going into tomorrow, as you can probably see. Uh, so that's somewhat of a reprieve for a battered buller, hoping that forecast continues to ease. Kayleigh Callan, live from Westport, Tanakwe. Heather joins us now with more on this weather system, which is set to hit the north from tonight. Yeah, this weather system is relentless. It's a steady feed of rain, and not too many areas will avoid it. What you're looking at is the result of one of New Zealand's strongest August atmospheric rivers on record. It's held in place by high pressure out east and also a low to the west. Now, the source location for this is the tropics. That's why temperatures are so warm. Hamna Springs today hit 23 degrees. I'll be back with the updated weather warning after sports.